mobile broadband can sometimes be a bit finicky. Its speeds aren't always consistent if you haven't got it set up exactly right. In this video, we've explained some steps you can take to get the best download and upload speeds when using 4G or 5G internet. Some of these methods are designed to help troubleshoot slow speeds. However, even if you have fast download speeds to begin with, some of these methods can help you get even better performance. Before we begin, if you're looking for a 4G or 5G broadband plan, read our reviews of the 3, 4G and 5G hub linked in the description. These routers are a great way to get online using mobile broadband, and they're also very reasonably priced. Let's get started. Before buying a mobile broadband plan, it's crucial to check and make sure that you have good 4G or 5G signal at your address. And once you have mobile broadband set up, it's worth doing some checks to make sure that you're actually getting good mobile network signal. The first thing to do is go to your provider's coverage map and type in your postcode. Here is 3's coverage map as an example. Once you've selected your address, look for good indoor and outdoor mobile signal on the 4G and 5G networks. Sometimes, even if the provider's website told you that you had good signal, this might not actually be the case. You might also be right on the edge of a coverage zone in some cases. Therefore, if you have slow mobile broadband, it's worth doing some tests to make sure that the provider's network map is accurate. If possible, take the SIM card out of your mobile broadband device and put it in your phone. Then, run some speed tests using a speed testing app. If your speeds are still not up to scratch, you might be able to complain to the mobile network and see if they can fix the issue. It could be that there's a problem with the nearest 4G mast that needs fixing or it could be that your tariff is speed restricted. But if your phone gives you good speeds, you know that there's a problem with your mobile broadband device and you'll need to keep troubleshooting. To get the best download and upload speeds using wireless internet, it's very important where you place your router. In general, the best place to put your device is on an upstairs windowsill or somewhere else high up and close to the edge of the house. However, you want to keep the router out of direct sunlight and away from anything else that emits radiation, which could interfere with its signal. You also need to check which side of the house has the best 4G or 5G signal. To do this, try position the router in different areas to see which offers the best speeds. As well as doing speed tests, you can also use the signal light on the router to see where it's happiest. Some mobile broadband devices also have a signal strength checker, which you can find in the router's settings or sometimes in its mobile app if it has one. This can be quite helpful in giving you a more specific idea of how good your signal is in different parts of the house. It's not just the router's position that can have an effect on its speeds, its orientation can have an impact as well. If you've found a spot with good signal, but your speeds aren't as good as you're expecting, try to rotate the router 180 degrees. This can sometimes help its internal antennas pick up better signal, giving you access to faster download and upload speeds. In some cases, you might not be able to find consistent network signal anywhere in the house. When this happens, it can be helpful to install external antennas on the router to help it pick up better signal. The easiest way to do this is install a paddle antenna on the router directly. These types of antennas are omnidirectional, meaning it doesn't matter what direction you point them in. They're cheap to buy and easy to install, but do take up a bit of space. You also have the option of installing an external antenna on your house and connecting it to the router via its SMA port. This is a better choice if you live somewhere with poor mobile network signal, such as in the countryside. These types of antennas are more expensive, but don't actually cost as much as you might think. The hardest thing will be installing the antenna somewhere suitable and figuring out a way to wire it up to the router. Certain companies like National Broadband will install an antenna for you when you sign up for their 4G internet service. Read our 4G router's guide, linked in the description, to learn more about their broadband plans. Sometimes, simple fixes are the most effective. If you haven't already, try and unplug your router, leave it for a few minutes, and then plug it back in. This can sometimes help your speeds by clearing the router cache and allowing it to reconnect to the 4G or 5G network. If you're suffering from slow speeds and none of these solutions have helped, there could be a more difficult issue that you'll need to address. For example, you might need to modify your router settings to get the most from the device. If you're using a 5G compatible router with a 4G connection, you might want to turn off 5G in settings for instance. 
This can sometimes help you get better speeds. You might also need to manually install a firmware update on your router to improve your performance. There's also a range of other issues that could be causing slow speeds that aren't related to mobile broadband specifically. You can read our guide to improving internet speeds, which is linked in the description, to learn more about these types of issues that may be affecting you. And if you're having trouble getting faster speeds, let us know about the issue in the comments below and we'll help out.